And we are live. Good to see everybody back again with another live stream. It's Andrew. It is October 15, 2023. It is 102 p.m. Pacific time here in Las Vegas, a sort of impromptu time here to get things going. Uh, the the live stream, of course, I haven't done a live stream in a while, but it's good to be back. And um, I'm really happy to once again uh, do this live stream. We're going to do a live unboxing of the Lenovo Legion 9i. Yeah, this thing is fully loaded, folks. And I've seen a few videos already on it, but I have had this, but I've been traveling for press events and so forth, finally getting a chance to unbox this and give it my full attention, which I think it deserves. And I uh, certainly are, am looking forward to it. We're looking at a Core i9 here. We're looking at the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. I think it's 175 watt TGP on that. So really, well, really powerful stuff here. And of course, it's got a mini LED. We'll look at the specs and all that. Carbon for, uh, forged carbon material used on this. So looking pretty good. And I want to uh, say hello to a few people before we get started, as we have about 22 of you watching. Uh, if I remember even how to do any of this. Uh, so let's start off here. Tech Eagle 21, it's a nice laptop, but it's expensive. Yeah, it's not cheap. Let's get that out of the way, but I think uh, pretty interesting nonetheless. Crazy laptop, expensive. That's been the theme so far. One Bad Van, good to see you, my friend. Uh, yeah, I'm live here. Good to see everybody. Fabrica, uh, hello to you, uh, Sir Preet Singh. Yeah, it's not a great time for India. I didn't expect to do it today, but I found a little bit of window here, of time to do it. So I figured let's get it unboxed. And then we have Mr. Rainbow Loves Coffee, and that's I'm, I'm glad to know you're safe in Tel Aviv, and uh, my heart goes out to all the victims uh, of that massacre that occurred uh, last week in Israel and um, at that uh, festival that was going on in the desert. That was just an absolute uh, atrocity, and my heart goes out to all the families and the victims of everybody who was uh, affected by that. And again, uh, there's no room here, and I'm not a political person, as you know, but there's no room in this world for that kind of hatred, that kind of bigotry, that kind of hate. This is basically Nazis all over again. And we're seeing that here uh, it, with that massacre. So that was a terrible, terrible thing. Um, I know there's a lot of narratives on the internet trying to say otherwise, but I don't think there's any decent person here that would allow themselves to believe that what happened on that last Saturday, that massacre of October 7th, w was justified in any way, and it wasn't. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, it's just not right. We're in, what kind of society are we living in? I see all the demonstrations happening here in the U.S., and I'm just shocked at the um, hatred towards the Jews and shocked at the hatred towards Israel, and I really uh, am not okay with that. So I just want to let everyone, I'm not a political person, but as a human being, this shouldn't happen. Um, still here for the video. Good to see you. Good to see Mr. Rainbow. You, you got it, my friend. Just stay safe. And uh, hopefully this will hopefully be over soon. But let's get back to the tech, which is what we are here for and what we love. And I wanted to just say that I want to thank Lenovo for sending it over. But of course, I'm not being paid. I'm not being sponsored by Lenovo. And I'm not being uh, uh, told what to say. Obviously, this is live, so they can't. But again, there's no money exchanging hands here. All right. So uh, we got we saw said hello to a few people here already. And again, I'll keep this up for uh, for a replay. But of course, I'll have a full video on the way. So with that being said, let's uh, without further ado, you know, the drill, folks, let's get this out of the box.
Okay, we have a pretty nice uh, packaging here. So this is Lenovo's Legion 9i. Let's see what kind of, wow, there's a lot of it's heavy stuff here. I got to tell you, it's pretty heavy. Um, how do I open this thing up? How the hell do we open this thing up? Okay, here we go. Whatever is in here is pretty heavy. That's, that's what I got to say here. All right. So let's see what we got here. Looks like we got the power brick here. We'll get to that in a moment. Power cord. What else is here? A secondary power brick. Interesting. And I don't know what this is. This might be some extra keycaps for different, um, different keycaps for different colors on that keyboard. I think I remember seeing something about that. So let's look at the big power brick first. And uh, we have here some packaging on it. So let's take this off. Where's my knife here? Okay, so this is a pretty chunky 330 watt power adapter. Okay, and uses Lenovo's proprietary connection, I'm assuming, yeah. So this is uh, pretty, pretty heavy, actually. And then, of course, we get the power cord for that one. Uh, we also get a smaller one here. Let's take a look at that as well. Okay, and everything looking good so far. So this is a smaller 140-watt power adapter. So I guess for the times you don't need all that power, that means you're only going to have to use the 140, which will be a lot quicker. Well, a lot quicker, not actually, which will be a lot lighter, I should say. And this is USB type C. So we got two power chargers in the box. Okay. We'll look at the specs in a moment. I think I forgot to show it to you, but did talk about it briefly. And then uh, this should be the extra keycaps that I was talking about. Let me open that up. And let's see what this is. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's going to be some extra keycaps. Okay, and yeah, you see, you get the different colors that you can do. Little cloth there. And these are the different colors you can see there. So uh, pretty interesting. And then you could put the different switches on there. Uh, it says Legion on there. So pretty interesting. And some documentation. Maybe if we get a chance, I'll probably in the video show you what that looks like when it's installed. So that little cloth goes here. And it's a nice little microfiber cloth they give you. All right, let's get to the uh, unit itself. And we'll put these chargers to the side for now. But interesting, they give you two. Nice packaging. I got to give them credit here. You could see it here. Um, very nice packaging. All right, let's get this open. And they got a little message here. Let's see. Sustainability meets future performance in revolutionary design. Wow. Very nice. Unleash peak performance with liquid cooling. Yeah, this has liquid cooling, apparently. Extreme dur durability, lighter materials. Future is forged carbon. And it says vibrant, fast, immersive Lenovo PureSight gaming display. Remember, this is a 3.2K mini LED display. Very nice packaging. Very snazzy. All right, let's get this out. Okay. All right, so we get some documentation before we get to the unit itself. So this is your startup guide, so forth. Lenovo Legion 9i, this is Gen 8. Some warranty information, yada, yada, yada. And I think that's it for the inner box.
Okay, wow. This is a... Uh... Wrong mic. Okay, wow. This is really, really good here. This is that Forge Carbon design on the lid there and you can see it here let's uh let's go here you can see the that's the underside but this is that forged carbon right there and it's a really interesting design you can see they have some of the ports on the back there uh not the lightest thing in the world that's for sure we'll get a measurement of the weight uh let's see if we can open this with one finger let's uh go to this camera we can very easily actually. And you get some more information here. And that is absolutely gorgeous, folks. I, you know, I'm not the huge uh, a fan of li gaming laptops, but I happen to really like this uh, look on this. I mean, you can see it here. Uh, pretty nice design there. That is pretty slick. Uh, very nice. Keyboard feels good. Let's get a listen to the keyboard. Wow, very good. Very nice feeling keyboard. It's got the smile shape keys we've seen from Lenovo. There's a perforated lines, or perforated dots here, actually. You can see it there. And that is going to give you some more airflow, I believe. It says Legion branding there. Let's see how far back. So this is how far back the screen goes. So you can lift it here. Boom. You go back. Pretty nice angle, actually. Goes back certainly far enough. And uh, so let's go back over here and let's check out the port selection and then we'll, we'll look at the weight and size after that. All right, so as far as um, the SD card, all right, let's talk about it. So on the left side, there's an SD card reader. This is, this is an SD card right here. It goes as far as you see here. So it does stick out a little bit. Uh, but I like seeing a six, on a 16-inch laptop in general, having a full-size SD card slot. That's actually really good. And then you have your 3.5-millimeter microphone headphone combo jack. We'll get to your comments and questions in a moment. And then on the right side, you get your kill switch for the webcam. Looks like a USB Type-C port on that one over there. And then a USB Type-A port over there. Now, all the ma major ports are going to be on the back. Your gig gigabit LAN port, another USB-A, and this looks like a thun two Thunderbolt 4 ports here. So these look like two Thunderbolt 4 ports. You get another, um, you get your power port in over there. You get HDMI over there, two heating vents on each side over there. So you get actually three, I should say, on each side. So really nice uh, port layout here, and I love having that full-size SD card, especially when you want to do content creation. <coughs> Excuse me, let me take a little bit of coffee here. Hold on. Okay, so it's got a numeric keypad for those that want to crunch numbers. All right, let's get a measurement of the weight. So let's close this up and get the scale ready. And let's do kilograms. So just the unit alone, okay? Just the unit alone. Now, according to my scale, 2.556 kilograms or 5 pounds, 10.2 ounces. Now, with the big charger, the that's the one with the 330 watts and the bigger, thicker power cable, you're going to go up to seven pounds, 15 ounces, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, substantial there. And then as far as kilograms, you're looking at 3.599 kilograms. That's with the bigger charger if you want to travel with that. Now, let's uh, measure it with the 130, 100, I'm sorry, 140 watt USB charger with its power cord. That brings it to 2.972 kilo or 2.970 kilograms. And that would bring it to six pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces so that is a pretty big boy here all in for traveling with uh but i think a lot of you are going to use this on a desk maybe take it with you occasionally where you want to go but definitely uh definitely a little bit of a big boy but it's got a lot of be a lot of power under the hood there's no doubt about it all right so that's the measurement of the weight all right so that brings us 
to and let me uh, let me go back over here to the unit itself. So this is that forged carbon I was talking about. Let's get a good look at it. Here you can see it. And that means you're going to get uh, supposedly lighter materials from this, but it's a very premium feeling. You got some Legion branding there. Uh, it's a very nice feel. This is a really nice, well put together laptop. And again, let's take a look at the specs. I didn't, I didn't show it to you earlier, but I want to show it to you now uh, because I think obviously a lot of you are wondering what are the overall specs. So let's bring that on to the stream right now. And as you can see, the this is the Lenovo Legion uh, 9i, okay, and as you can see, this is the 16-inch 3.2K display. Now, the resolution is 3200 by 2000, so 1200 nits of brightness. Uh, you're looking at anti-glare, which is good. I don't want to see a lot of glare reflection, 16 to 10 aspect ratio, and it has a very high contrast. This is going to be a mini LED display, so that means it's going to rival that of an OLED in a lot of ways, except it can get brighter. 13th gen processor, a very powerful one indeed, Core i9, 13980HX. That is also paired with the NVIDIA GeForce 40, RTX 4090 laptop GPU, 175 watts, two 16 gigabyte SODOM sticks, TDR5 6400 that is overclocked. Storage, you're looking at two one terabyte SSDs uh, in terms of the SSDs, two of them. 99.9 watt hour battery. That's the most you can put on a laptop with that you can take on a plane. That's the legal limit. And it also supports super rapid charge. Intel Killer Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.1 combo, and I believe that's, uh, I don't know if that's soldered or slotted in. And then if we move over to the next graph here, you're looking at, uh, two, they're saying 2.56 kilograms around that, 5.64 pounds. We just measured it on my scale, so it is pretty hefty. Full HD 1080p camera with e-shutter fixed focus. Uh, I didn't know. I don't think it's an IR camera. I'll double check all that. I don't know if there's a fingerprint scanner. I didn't think. I don't think I saw one, but I could be wrong. Audio by Harman Kardon. As far as the tuning, optimized Namic audio. That's always welcome on a gaming laptop. Now, carbon black is on the chassis. Again, the forged carbon is what they're using here. I showed you all the ports. And price as tested here is a pretty hefty price tag, $39.99. That, of course, is $4,000. Of course, Lenovo does run a lot of sales. I wouldn't be surprised, maybe even for this holiday season, that it would come down. You can pick it up over a, a b and photo. I have a link in the description below. It's a new item coming soon. And then, of course, you can go over to Lenovo's website. Starting price, $34.19. Now, you can get the regular Legion 9i uh, or le uh, regular Legions that we've seen before without all these special stuff. And again, this has that liquid cooling that we talked about earlier so pretty interesting all right so with that being said that is the specs on this unit that is the pricing of the unit uh let's plug this in and let's get rocking and rolling let's take out the display we'll do a few benchmarks and see where we go from there so let me plug this in we're going to plug in the 330 watt big boy power adapter here so let me get that up and running I see we have 41 of you watching, but we only have 13 likes. Do me a favor. Help me out here. Get, hit that like button. Let's get this spread out over YouTube. And, of course, if you want to do Super Chat, that's certainly welcome. If you want to do uh, Super Sticker, anything to help support the channel. Now, for those wondering if I'm going to be doing uh, the Surface Laptop Studio 2, we're going to talk about that in a moment. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be doing it, but let me plug this in, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Let me plug this part in. I always get confused between the USB-A port and Lenovo's proprietary power ports. Always. Years now we're going on this. All right. So this is plugged in. It's showing the light lit up. So that's uh, with that 330 watt power adapter. You can see it right here. We'll monitor, see how that, how hot that gets. Now, let's uh, turn this on. And 
Boy, that is a beautiful, bright 1200 nit, as I mentioned earlier, mini LED display. So that is uh, pretty awesome here. Wow, holy smokes, that looks gorgeous. That display looks phenomenal, folks. I don't know if you can see it here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, you can see it there. This display, it's hard to show how good this, not a touch display, is how good a mini LED display, display is. Let me show you the top down here. Uh, this is absolutely stunning, stunning, folks. 165 hertz. In fact, let's take a look. Let me look real quick at the display settings here. 3200 by 2000, three, uh, right, 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Advanced display set, 165 hertz. 10-bit color here. So this is looking like a very, very high-end display. So the brightness is all the way up. In fact, I'm going to have to lower it so it doesn't get so blown out on your screen here. That's what we're looking at here as far as uh, how beautiful, how, how, I don't want it to be changed on the content. I want it to be always on as bright as I want it. And you can slide it there. Again, I'm going to be about 50% here because I don't want to blow out the camera. HDR display, we'll look at that later. And then I'm going to keep that off for now, uh, but let's uh, let's just close that for now. That is an absolute stunning display, folks. This is really, really good. So I don't know if this is a fingerprint scanner. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Function Q means we can cycle through the different uh, performance modes. This is the whisper mode, auto mode, and this is the performance mode. That's the one we want to be in. Let's make sure that the power settings on the Windows side of things are optimized here based on your power. So they're, they're actually, okay, so they're actually controlling it through Lenovo's Vantage app here. So that's good. I like to see that. I don't like when we have to do two different spaces, two different places. So that's been pretty good. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let me connect to my network. Let me put it on me for a second. Get it uh, onto the Wi-Fi here. Okay. Keyboard feels good so far. Good to see Gazim. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, my friend. Uh, you have the Asus G14 2022, but it's running too hot with just the YouTube and battery. Anyone have any idea to fix it? I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there, uh, but I'm not sure. I don't have one here. Uh, Asus didn't send me one, so I would have been nice to review that. Now, oh, I was talking about earlier, and we'll, while we're, we're loading in some stuff here, I was talking earlier about the Surface Laptop Studio 2. I don't think there's a lot of interest. And to be honest, it's a lot of money to me to go out of pocket because of the um, just the high price that the Surface Laptop Studio is coming in. I think it's close to $3,000, and especially the one you'd want to get with the RTX 4060. I think that's well over $3,000. So I think that's something that is a little bit prohibitive. Now, I, I will say this. Um, I want to review it, but of course, I did not get a review unit from Microsoft, and I don't expect to. So it has been now, what, seven years I'm reviewing stuff or going on seven years or something like that. And I have not gotten any review units from them. We've taught, I, they, every year we go through the same, you know, oh yeah, we'll send you something and it doesn't happen. So I don't expect to get it, but let me know what you think. If you think I should go out of pocket with some of the, the funds from the, the, the channel, if you think it's better to put it somewhere else, let me know. Uh, I reviewed the original Surface Laptop Studio. Now, they also released the, and I don't think we're going to get one from Microsoft. Pretty sure we're not. Uh, if any chance Microsoft is watching, uh, watching, um, you know, they do well on my channel, so your products do well. I'm not sure where you are heading with the Surface line, if it's towards the, we're heading to the end of the line with the Surface. I don't know if the writing's on the wall, but we'll see. But if you're willing to send me one, I'm willing to give it a fair review. That's for sure, as I usually do. Now, as far as the Surface Laptop Go 3, I don't expect to get that, any, that as well. But I, have no, I don't have as much interest in that one, especially for $799. And you don't get a backlit keyboard, and that bothers me. I'm just Maybe I'm overreacting, but I don't think I'm going to want to do that one. So that's just me. Uh, good to see AR Tech Reviews here. Good to see you, my friend. So Mr. Rainbow Loves Coffee is asking, uh, can a good laptop take over a decent PC tower? Uh, yeah, it depends. But <laughs> i got to tell you, so I'm under embargo till this week. I have a tower here. I'm not going to say by who. 
Uh, and then I'm not going to say which gen of uh, CPU that I have here. Oh, uh, um, um. Uh, but I can tell you, if uh, if you get a good laptop that can rival, uh, uh, you can. But I don't think it totally 100% replaces a desktop. The sheer power, the the thermals that you're given, the room to, to cool and all that stuff, I think it plays a big part of all that. So looks like we got McAfee here, of course. I'm going to have to remove that. So a lot of pop-ups here, but let's get a let's get a, a an idea of the performance here. We got Geekbench six here, so let's uh, let's load that in. We've loaded it in. Let's run it. Okay, we have it on the performance mode. So let's see how this will do. Again, I'm over, I'm at about 35, 40 percent brightness because it'll blow out the camera. We have 23 likes. We have 37 of you watching. How is the mini LED display? Uh, Spafo, phenomenal. I actually, I'm, I'm coming around to this mini LED. As you know, I'm a big OLED or OLED display guy for years. But there are some advantages of the mini LED over, say, um, OLED because this can get brighter. And we're talking a peak brightness with HDR content, I would assume, to 1,200 nits of brightness. That's pretty phenomenal, where you're limited in OLED to usually four to 500 nits at most. Usually it's 400 nits when you have an OLED display. So it can get a little bit dicey there with the brightness, but OLED, you know, you get the really deep blacks, the super vibrant colors and all that. So it's, it's a lot to be said for that. But the mini LED and with these fans really going right now, I hear the fans going full force here. Let me, let me give you a little listen to that in a moment but i gotta say mini led is pretty gorgeous all right let's listen to these fans so you can hear them really going here i don't know if that secondary mic i have picked it up but it is pretty pretty uh loud <laughs> Which is not surprising. Now, it's supposed to have liquid cooling on this. I, I don't know if it's the world's first laptop to have liquid cooling. I'm not sure about that, but it is pretty rare to see that. And I think it's pretty innovative if it can actually work. So we'll see. I'll do all my benchmarking. I'll do all my testing in the upcoming full review. This is a really nice touchpad, by the way. Not something you normally can say on a gaming laptop, but at a $4,000 gaming laptop, we want the best of the best. So this is uh, doing the first boot here. First run of Geekbench here, and I would take whatever we get with a grain of salt because you you never know that can really um, there's some there's some updates, some firmware, who knows that are lurking out there that needs to be updated. You might get a more accurate display. Now, according to AR Tech reviews, OLED is better, but this Mini LED is nice and bright. So. The, like I said, the benefits of an OLED is going to be the deep blacks, the super vibrant colors. The benefit of the mini LED is going to be the brightness. You can go a lot brighter, and it has not quite as good contrast and black levels as an OLED, of course, but it does get pretty close. So it's a pretty interesting and intriguing option to go with. I, I certainly agree with that. Uh, yeah, the fans are pretty loud, uh, but they've calmed down and it seemed to have been doing something in the background. Again, this is the first time I booted it up. It was set up by Lenovo, but expect there to be updates and we'll get a probably a more accurate number as far as the benchmarks once everything is updated. Hi, Andrew. My second time watching your live. I am loving it so far. I'm glad to see you guys here. I know I didn't get India this time. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a live today, but I did find the window to do it. I knew I had to get this out of the box and start benchmarking this for the review. So I figured let's do it live and I will keep it up for those that aren't able to make it live to watch the replay. Can mini LED display get burning issues over time, especially using it with a high brightness level? I've just used an LCD and OLED display till today. So that's a very good question, Gazem, and I hope I didn't butcher your name. So OLED, as you know, one of the negatives of OLED, although I haven't really experienced it all that much on a laptop, I did on my LG OLED TV. That's a different story. But screen burning is an issue, right? So that's one thing people with OLED displays have to be very cognizant of and have to be aware of. But with a mini LED, you don't get burning, but you do get something called blooming effect, where you get a, like a, tr a trail, like you're moving the mouse on a dark display, 
and a dark screen and your a dark uh, background and you'll see a trail of some sort blooming effect we saw it with the mini led display on the ipad and so forth so this is the first uh run on this and we get a score of 16,989. i expect that to go up a little bit with uh, some updates, but that's pretty nice score. 2816 single core. I would expect that to go to the 18 18,000s, and this should be closer to not 3,000. Again, this is my first time just going uh, right out of the box with this without any updates or anything, and I don't even know if my settings are even correct, so that's what we're getting right out of the box. Let me connect this up here so you can see what I'm doing. Let me go to the one on the back here and one of the Thunderbolt displays here. And then I'm also going to load in some other benchmarks on my drive here. All right, so you can see the score here. And as you can see, again, that is it. Let me take a screenshot. If I can figure out how to get that to work here. So we got the print screen here. Okay, we did it. All right. So that's the, uh, let's take a look real quick on the GPU side of things. Let's do the OpenCL on this test real quick while we have it opened here. Good to see William here. What variant do we have? This is the, Shan, this is the Lenovo Yoga 9i, the Gen 8. It's got car, for, forged carbon exterior. It's got a mini LED display. It's got the Core i9 HX processor. It's got the RTX 4090. We have it fully decked out I'm, and it's not cheap. So good to see William. Uh, no problem. This is sort of impromptu, William. I didn't do one in a while. Found a window because I wanted to get this out of the box. I wanted to do some benchmarking. So here we are as we have 37 of you watching with 30 likes. Do me a favor, hit that like button. It would really help me out. Get to spread out. Question from Olu. Is it charged via USB-C? So I showed you earlier, Olu, there are two chargers here. We got the 330 watt charger with the proprietary connection and then of course in the box and i was wondering why it was so heavy it gave they give you a secondary charger 140 watt usb type c charger so a lighter charger to travel with when you don't want to take the big brick with you and you don't need it say you're going on an airplane you're not going to be doing heavy gaming or anything like that so pretty nice score here as you can see for the open cl so that's why they give you the two power chargers in the box all right, let's let's uh, let's load in some more benchmarks here. Let me go to my drive and let's go to this drive right here. And I have some preloaded ones here. So let me get those right onto this download folder so we can get that up and running. If I can get it to here, if I did it right. There we go. All right. That was the last question. Okay, thanks for making high quality reviews. You got it, Mango Replays. I'm glad you like it. Um, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. So we have a lot of things coming up on the channel um, that are pretty exciting. Stuff I can't talk about just yet. I've been reason you haven't seen a lot of um, live streams for me lately is because I've been doing a lot of traveling, believe it or not, for press events for upcoming products that I'm under embargo. Obviously, some of them I can't talk about. Most of them, in fact, I can't talk about. Not just yet. Coming soon, though. And uh, But one thing I can talk about is when I, I just went to HP a couple of weeks ago, and they had their HP Imagine 2023, a nice event, very well done event, I thought, um, where they showed off the new HP Envy Move, a 23.8 inch all in one. And I thought it was really good. So that worked out pretty well. Let's do the um, Crystal, let's do the uh, Cinebench R15. That's a real quick, it's an older test, but it's a quick test. And by the way, I'm starting, I'm going to be going forward. In addition to Cinebench R23, which I have a nice extensive library with as far as scores, um, I will also be doing Cinebench R24 and trying to build up that library as far as scores so we can get a good comparison. Again, we know that they've released the Cinebench R24, which also takes into account not only the CPU where, where the previous focus was, but on the GPU as well. So that's a big shift in uh, the Cinebench from Maxon. So uh, I will be doing those as well. I'm not gonna be doing it here on the live stream. It's a big download, but I will show you in the full review. So for those wondering. All right, we're gonna do the OpenGL score real quick here. And you can see what I'm doing here. So this is an older test that tests both the CPU and the GPU. This is the GPU part, the OpenGL. And of course, this is the RTX 4090. 
175 watts. So expecting pretty good scores here. Lenovo makes so many versions of their laptops with similar names that after a while, it just gets somewhat confusing differentiating between the different models. I agree on that, actually. They need to simplify it a little bit more. But I think this one is very unique, as you can see from this uh, forged carbon exterior lid here. Uh, by the way, it feels fantastic. And I think it looks pretty cool. I I'm actually a big fan of the, the look over there. Uh, you can see the raised... Reverse notch, I guess, a little notch there, a little that helps you not only lift it for one-handed open opening of this, but also uh, houses the camera hardware and so forth. All right, so this is the result for the OpenGL score, 244, pretty decent score. But again, this is an older test, so it's, you know, take it for what it is. I still run it because it's an easy one to run on a live stream. It doesn't take a lot of time. And look, we already got our score. That's impressive, 4652. So it's a very powerful CPU, GPU combination here. I don't think there's any doubt about it. So I took my screenshot of that. Let's save that. Let's go to another older one just for the sake of it. And let's do the Cinebench R20 here. Let's extract that, put it onto the hard drive there. When you make a live version of the new HP Spectre 3-in-1, I did the 3-in-1. I had to give it back. So I didn't do a live stream. I didn't have time. Um, let's talk about the HP Spectre 3-in-1, which he's talking about is the Fold, the HP Spectre Fold, which, as I mentioned in my first look review, and by the way, this week the full review is coming, um, I don't have it anymore because they have only a few to give to press, and I was fortunate and lucky enough to get one from HP. I want to thank HP for letting me be one of the first to have that. Uh, the best implementation of a foldable product to date. I don't think there's any question they did it the best. Even when you look at some of the foldable phones, I think the, the fact that HP certainly got it right here. Pen support was spot on. A uh, minimal notch, a minimal uh, crease in between the display that was hardly noticeable. You know, when you get the other foldables, you get that noticeable crease in the middle. That wasn't the case with the, the way HP designed it. It was just brilliant. And then, of course, that absolutely stunning, stunning foldable OLED display. And I got to tell you, that's why it's so expensive. $5,000 and a limited run for good reason. I don't think they expect, they're expecting a lot of people to buy these. I don't think that's gonna be the case. It's just too expensive, but it is a proof that this is the technology that is feasible and eventually will filter down to their other lines. It will come mu much less expensive over time. So this shows you what's possible. And I like that HP is pushing the envelope with design here. Regardless of the price, you can say whatever you want with it. It's an important product because it shows you the way forward. And that's just my opinion. And I think they've certainly nailed it. Now, here we have our score here. Very, this is one of the best scores I've seen on this. Uh, 10,898. Uh, so that's a pretty good score here. A really good score, actually. Let's take our screenshot. Moving right along, folks. We're going to test those SSDs or at least one of them. I think it has two in here, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Well, actually, let's see. This PC, uh, sorry, OneDrive, and it is a two terabyte SSD. All right. So let's uh, let's go to the Cinebench, not Cinebench, the Crystal Disk Mark, I should say, which is right here. And let's go extract that, and let's get the speeds of the reads and writes. Don't worry about it, one bad van. You got here in time, my friend. Looking forward to the laptop. Only decided to bite on the Legion Seven I and the Tower, which I actually have here, by the way. I still haven't gotten to it. I'm so behind. I apologize to everybody, uh, but we're getting there one by one. But good to see you, one bad van. Hope you're doing well. So let's uh, let's get to the speeds here so this is a two terabyte ssd now uh for those that are joining us late while this is running the speed test we can talk about what you missed already so and i'll leave this up as a replay 3.2k mini led display 16 inches 3200 by 2000 resolution 16 to 10. it also has 165 hertz refresh rate uh, it's got uh, 1200 nits of peak brightness mini led display gets very bright you're looking at the uh, Core i9 here, HX processor, Core i9, what is it, 13980HX, whatever it is. And then, of course, the NVIDIA RTX 
4090 laptop GPU, 175 watts. So very, very powerful stuff here. And as you can see, that is uh, blazingly fast. This looks like RAID 0 numbers. I'm pretty sure this is probably a RAID 0. I would be shocked if it isn't. 12,831, very, very fast result here. So uh, very impressive stuff here. Again, you're, pay you're paying a premium here, uh, $39.99 or $4,000. So uh, definitely not that cheap. So we'll get this uh, scores finalized here, but uh, very encouraging, 12,831. That is, holy smokes, that is really good reads and re re reads so far. We'll get the rights in a moment. I'm expecting good results on that. So that tower looks pretty good, and I, I'm going to be bringing my video on that at some point. Uh, so I, I understand a lot of people, and again, I'm under embargo, and I have another tower coming that just going to blow you away in terms of the power, the sheer power, the numbers will blow you away. So we'll talk about that very soon. In fact, it'll be this week, but I can't talk more any more than that. All right, so we have 37 people, 37 likes. Thank you. Thank you for hitting that like button. And if you want to help out the channel, why not hit a? Why not give a, a super chat? You get the priority, although not necessary. And then, of course, you could become a member and all that stuff. Yada yada yada. You know the deal. And again, for those joining us late, and though I've been getting a lot of um, inquiries as to whether I'm going to review, like I said earlier, the Surface Laptop Studio Two. Uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, Microsoft has not sent me any review units, and I don't anticipate, like I said, getting them. But uh, if I get enough demand, and it seems like I'm getting a few of people you are asking me, am I going to review it? Um, I'm not that impressed with what I've seen so far from afar. I haven't been hands-on with it, of course. And it could change my mind, but it might not be worth spending over $3,000 all said and done. Wow. These are some fast reads and writes, folks. Might be some of the fastest that we've seen on the channel. That's how good these are. So... Two terabytes. I'm thinking this is a RAID zero. According to Don Johnson from Miami Vice, he says, hey, guys, I'm considering purchasing a 2023 Lenovo Yoga 6 with the Ryzen 7 7730U from Best Buy. What do you think? It's a good lot. It just depends on what you want to do, Don Johnson. Uh, but if you're going to be riding around in your Ferrari or whatever it was in Miami Beach on South Beach, you may want a little better laptop. I'm joking. Uh, all kidding aside, yeah, it's fine. Just depends on what you're going to do with it. Uh, surfing the web, doing Microsoft Office email web browsing, you're going to be fine. That's a very capable processor. We've we've looked at it, the Ryzen 7 7730U. Uh, don't expect to be doing any 4K video editing, high-end 4K video editing, maybe some light 4K, certainly 1080p video editing on that, some light gaming as well. So... Um, I would definitely consider it, especially if you get it for a great price, but just, of course, temper your expectations as to its uh, total performance is what you expect from that. Yeah, I, 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 I agree, Constantine. That was a pretty nice uh, reads and writes. Some of the best I've seen on the channel. Hey, first time catching you. Your reviews are some of my favorite on YouTube for making, thank you for making some of the blah, blah, blah. blah. Thank you, not blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Though this one, I... Uh, I suspect it's out of my budget. It's out of the budget for me, my friend. I'm just uh, fortunate enough to have Lenovo send it to me. Yes, $39.99 as configured here over at B&H Photo. For those interested, I left links in the description below. But uh, for serious gamers that want a laptop that has certain great capabilities and just a little bit more fancier, this might be one to look at. Now, is it worth getting over a another Legion that's not as expensive, that's not as... Uh, got that fancy doohickeys and all this stuff like this one, like the carbon forged uh, exterior, like you see here, or the liquid cooling and all that stuff. I don't know if it's actually worth it, to be honest with you, all said and done. But if money was no object, this certainly would be one that I would look at. I mean, the build quality is first rate. The looks, the aesthetics are fantastic. And I'm not a big, uh, big gamer, you know, type laptop guy, you know, as far as looks. So, yeah, the Gen Raid close to 1X, no Raid. Yeah, so 2X Gen 4 Raid comes close to a one-time G5, Gen 5, no Raid. Absolutely. So you're seeing some pretty uh, phenomenal, phenomenal numbers here. Let me take a screenshot of that. And then we will uh, move right along here. I'm loving this laptop so far. 
Now, uh, let's go to the next one, which I want to do, which is the Cinebench R23. But before we do that, let's take a look at the camera. Okay. So this is a full HD 1080p camera here. And you can see it here. So this, let's go to the settings here. Photo settings, video settings. Yeah, 1080p. So this is 1080p. I don't know if it has any of the AI features like we see on more mainstream traditional consumer laptops. So this is a gaming laptop. Uh, I don't see any IR camera, so it's not uh, face recognition. And I don't know if there's a fingerprint scanner. We're going to double check if that power button doubles as one. I'll, I'll check in a moment. But what do you think about the uh, quality here? It looks pretty good to me. And again, I'll give you a full example of not only the video quality, but the audio of those array mics and so forth. There is a kill switch I showed you to allow you to turn it off. So that's good. So that is the camera, as you can see here. And why am I out of focus there? I'm in focus now as I focus on me. Uh, looks pretty good. What is the wattage of the power brick? So, um, William, you can see it here. This one, so I know you got, you came a little bit late, and I'll leave it up for replay, but there are two power chargers in the box. So you get this uh, big brick here, 330-watt big boy. And by the way, it's not hot. It's maybe lukewarm, and we've run a few benchmarks. And then there's a 140-watt USB Type-C, uh, also included, I guess, a little bit more travel-friendly so they include two chargers in the box. So I like that. I think that's a nice little touch. Again, not everybody's going to need that uh, power on the road, and they just need that 140-watt USB Type-C. Just bring one charger with you for everything. And now that the iPhone 15 uses USB Type-C, everything is is uh usb type c and that's means you can only take you know you don't need to take multiple chargers camera looks good i agree william all right so go to sleep mr rainbow loves coffee thank you for you know no problem and um i appreciate everything uh, you've done for the channel and stay safe and hopefully this whole nightmare will be over very soon all right so take care my friend all right so moving right along don johnson says stellar quality for a gaming laptop seems like Lenovo is aiming to merge the gaming and the regular consumer markets possibly possibly uh this is no doubt the most premium gaming laptop I reviewed to date or among them I mean it's got everything you'd want a mini LED display 1200 nits of brightness it's not a glossy display so that's great anti-glare uh it's got um the very powerful CPU, GPU. I mean, what more can you want? All right, let's uh, let's move right along here, and let's do the Cinebench R23. And by the way, like I said earlier, for those joining us late, I will be also doing Cinebench R24 in my reviews going forward. We'll build up that um, that library of number of, of results so we can compare it to other laptops as they come available. And we'll have a database of, uh, numbers of, of results. I should say, uh, we'll start doing that going forward since that has been released by Cinebench from Axon. Uh, and this is of course the Cinebench R23. We'll do a modified five minute test here. We'll test the Thermal performance as well, real quickly here on this live stream, we'll do a quick uh, thermal imaging of it, and we'll also get a, a test of the noise levels from the fan. So that's all coming right now. So let's get this set up properly here, and you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, let's go to the advanced. Uh, we're going to go to the preferences here, and we're going to do custom ten, five minutes. Okay. And we're going to put the custom in here and let's hit the start. So this will be the multi-core. We'll do that real quick. Now, while we're doing that, I'm going to get out my camera here, my thermal imaging camera from FLIR, which I have over here. And we'll use my fold here, my uh, pixel fold. By the way, I do have the iPhone 15 Pro max here and i wanted to shout out to nomad and they're not sponsoring this video or anything but i just got a bunch of cases from nomad and this is one of them this is that horween leather from nomad and once again they've knocked it out of the park here as far as the absolute quality of the horween leather that by the way as it patina the patina comes on it as it ages it actually looks better this is a brand new and come back in a few months it'll probably look even better as it wears in a good leather product and again i'm really liking this iphone pro 15 max 
Uh, pretty nice stuff so far. Uh, pretty nice. I just want to give a shout out to Nomad Products, and I'll leave a link when we're done. I'll, I'll drop a link for their products. They're not sponsoring or anything. They did send me this over for me to check out, and I thought I would pass that along to you because I think they make some of the best products when it comes to mobile accessories. So thank you, Nomad. Now, uh, let's turn this on. This is my FLIR 1. Let's get a measurement of the heat generated from the surface. Now, it's a little tricky sometimes with this. Let me get this. There we go. All right, give me a second as I can try to get this working here. Sometimes it's a little finicky. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Sorry about the dead air there. All right, so... Let's bring this back here. Sometimes this gives me a little bit of a problem. Maybe we'll do the we'll do this in the video. You know why? Because this was I have to fix this. Hold on. There we go. Now it's out. There we go. There we go. Hopefully this works. And it does. All right. So let me switch cameras here. So let's get the front of the unit and let's see the let's see the brick here. So the brick is showing around 38 degrees Celsius. So it's not very hot. So the heat is generating over here, which is about 51 degrees Celsius, right around here. So not where you place your fingers, that's good. Okay, let's get the side shot here. Okay, again, well, most of the heat is coming out of this side. Again, liquid cooling here, something a little bit different. Yeah, one of the fans is over here, and it's very cool there. So the heat is generated much, pretty much over here. All right, now let's get the underside. Okay, so the heat is over here. That's where most of the heat is on this area. Not bad. This is about 58. This, this is a little bit warm. I, I don't think it will burn your lap, put it that way. And again, it has the liquid cooling. Let's give a measurement of the, the fan noise here because it's really going full blast right now. So let's, uh, let's, let's do that. Here's the two fans. You can see it sort of i guess over here you can see one over here one over here all right let's uh bring this over here and we got a score by the way and you can see it here Twenty-seven thousand two fifty-nine. wow that's a pretty nice score what do you think <laughs> oh my lord wow all right let's get a let's let's do the uh single core and we'll get the measurement of the 
fan noise. All right. So let me get the decibel meter app out on my watch. Okay, so we have 56 decibels, very noticeable fan noise, not too surprising. We're in the performance mode. I'll test all the other modes and see how it is when you're doing everyday tasks. But when you're gaming, expect to hear those fans. There's not, no, no doubt about it. OLED is going to bed. Most people are going to bed now, okay. Yeah, it's late in some places, especially India. Uh, when, do you do your full, when you do your full review, it would be interesting if uh, you'd see when you connected both power adapters, whether it charges faster with both running or see if it defaults to one charger. Oh, that's pretty interesting, yeah. I don't know, that's a good question, we'll have to see. Or which charger it defaults to first. That's pretty interesting. Um, it is pretty interesting that they do give you two power adapters. And by the way, this reached about 38 degrees Celsius, nothing too hot, a little bit warm, but nothing. That means it's, it's, doing, it's, it's able to supply enough power without overheating. Fans are so loud. Yeah, let's give a listen to the fans. Okay, so that, that was the fans. So for those wondering, yeah, it's pretty loud. All right. Yeah, I changed it back. I Sometimes I forget. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. They're both, this is actually pretty good. The secondary mic, just not next to my mouth. But thanks for reminding me. I should be back to, the, yeah, I'm back to the normal here. Okay, so we've got about a, two minutes on that. And I don't, that, I don't know how much longer we're going to go after that. Anybody have any questions or anything we can talk about real quick while this is running? Thanks, uh, One Bad Van. Yeah, I changed it back. It's 10 o'clock here in the UK. 10 o'clock, 9.59, and you're already going to bed. Things are just starting, my friend. That's a little early. Or maybe you have school tomorrow. I don't know. Could be late for you. All right. Let's get that single core. So what we have here, 27,259 multi-core score. And for those wondering, 24 cores, you have 32 threads, Core i9-13980HK. Some powerful stuff here. So far, pretty impressive stuff. So let's take a look here. You can see the, the display, for those wondering. So this is the display right here. It's a mini LED display, but I'm going to show you in detail on all the metrics and everything in the upcoming full review. That should be pretty good. Uh, so you got school. Yeah, I don't want you to be too, you need to be, yeah, I understand, my friend. Go to, get your, get your rest for school tomorrow. I was kidding a little bit earlier. <laughs> so I'm surprised they wait for the fans to ramp up so high before the liquid cooling kicks in. I'm not sure what, you know, as far as how, effective that liquid cooling is as opposed to a more traditional vapor chamber cooling and you know, stuff like that or any other cooling solution so i'm not really sure you got it my friend music and culture from the thumb rjk First Lenovo laptop, which has proper difference between silent balance performance profile, if I saw correctly. Yeah, so you get three different modes here, and function Q cycles through them. We have it now on the performance while we're running this benchmark. So it's 165 hertz refresh rate. Yeah, I'll remove that. Probably I'll do that off air.
Is it useless? Maybe. It could be a gimmicky. It could be gimmicky. I read that the liquid pump really doesn't actually activate till after 86 degrees. Okay. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to look into that. And we got our first super chat from our good buddy, Duck Vision. How are you? Good to see you. You know, we miss you. I know you come every now and then, but always good to have you on the stream, my friend. Thank you so much. It means a lot. So thank you for that super chat. Almost there. Cutting through it pretty quickly, actually. And single core usually goes a little bit slower, but it's pretty powerful, this laptop. So we're getting some pretty nice numbers here. You know, I, I agree with you one bad van as far as uh, 165 hertz being the refresh rate that is a sweet spot. I, I do find that as well. Uh, I think it gets to a certain point. You get a law of diminishing returns. I don't think certain people can really notice the difference after a certain point uh, as far as the refresh rate. But it's certainly very smooth and fluid so far. All right. We got our result here. Single core score. 2042 multi core 27,259. Let me take a screenshot. Very good result here. Okay, that's done. Let's do the speedometer test real quick. Browser benchmark test. And we get another, before we begin that, we get another Super Chat from Duck Vision, $10. I always seem to miss the live stream notifications. Glad to have made it to this one. Thank you, my friend. Always so generous. And I do appreciate you coming around. And the good news is, of course, as you know, I do leave it up as a replay. So for those that miss it, you get a chance to watch it on the replay anytime you want, anywhere. Okay. That is just really very generous. Thank you so much. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at this speed test real quick. And the speedometer 2.0 underway here. Hopefully the flashing lights doesn't bother too many people while I run this test because it does flash a lot. Would you make another video on the HP NVX 360? Yeah, it's coming. Uh, I do have it on the way, Olu. That's next. I think one of the LTT channels took uh, this apart and found out that the liquid cooler didn't have a radiator, so it was just circulating hot water. Could be. You know, it could be gimmicky. I don't know. It could be just gimmicky, but we don't know. So there's your score, 380. I guess that's a good score. I'd have to look to see what other browser benchmark results on other units. But let me take a screenshot. So far, so good. I'll do the 3D mark and all that, and I'll test the games and all that in the upcoming uh, full review. So I have a lot of benchmarking to do on this. We're now at the hour and six minute mark. I'm not opening it up, but you, there is upgradable RAM. There is upgradable uh, SSDs for those wondering. You just have to remove a few things to get to them. I'll talk more about that in the upcoming review. I think Lisa at Mobile Tech Review, she did it. And, um, and uh, yeah, so you can check that out, and I'll show you my video. Yeah, your eyes. <laughs> uh, so what one bad van says, well, for me, I like to use G-Sync for fast-paced games to avoid screen tear as well, rather than have a smooth tear-free 165 hertz versus, say, 240 unlocked to squeeze out every frame and sacrifice quality. This supports G-Sync, of course. Can you try Speedometer 2.1? Scores are a lot higher in the new version. So let me try that. I didn't download Chrome here, but let's see. Speed Speedometer... 2.1. Thank you for alerting me to that. Here it is. So we'll try speedometer 2.1. Let's start that. Now, 
Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, it is a higher score. Let's uh, let's take a screenshot of that. Thank you. One bad van. Speedometer, 2.1. All right. Okay, what do you think, folks? What do you think about this so far? I, I'm impressed. I'm not so impressed with the price tag, but at $4,000, they certainly give you a lot. They give you the mini LED display, which is certainly not cheap to put in a laptop. 165 hertz, 1,200 nits of brightness. Got a nice CPU-GPU combination. We're looking at the RTX 4090, 175 watts. In fact, let's, uh, let's go to NVIDIA here. Let's look at the control panel. And I want to see what they're showing there for the NVIDIA graphics card here. Yeah, I agree. That's a better score. Let's go to system information. So 175 watts, as we said, maximum graphics power. It supports dynamic boost. Uh, let's see what else it supports. Advanced Optimus, yes. So it has everything you'd pretty much want here, except it has McAfee as well. So I don't think that's good. I'm going to have to remove that while I do my final testing on this. But uh, yeah, 175 watts, advanced Optimus, all that stuff. So yeah, that's good. Balanced and performance profiles are always a few percent, a small percentage difference on Legion's laptops. On this one, balance should be a, more in the middle between, if you can check in the full review. I will. That's a very good um, point, good, good point you make there, Vladimir. So I will check that out. Once it's fully updated and the bloatware removed, I'm betting it will hit the high 400s. My i7 13700K hits 490 range usually. Yeah, I got to remove all that crap out of there. Can you use both of the chargers? That's the second person asking. I guess, how would I use both of the chargers? You mean to get more wattage into it? I don't think so. I think it probably knows, my guess is it probably knows where it's uh, getting its juice from. And I would prioritize the bigger one, I would imagine. I don't know. Anybody know the answer to that? Maybe we can test that in the full review. So those are two questions uh, uh, from, from, from Olu and from William earlier. Uh, we can probably check that out. And according to William, it might be pricey, but it's still nice to see what the new technology these manufacturers are putting out. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, you know, so we're getting towards the end here, but I just want to say, uh, as we head into the very busy season, we're already in the busy season, I should say. Expect new stuff coming out from the big brands. I, I obviously, I'm under embargo, but you want to make sure you are subscribed. You want to make sure you are hitting the make sure the notification bell. Although it doesn't seem to be working in YouTube anymore, uh, that's broken, I guess. Uh, but that's nothing new. Uh, but you don't want to miss it because I think we're going to start seeing 14 gen laptops, 14 gen CPUs, I should say. Uh, we're going to see some pretty interesting stuff coming up uh, from what I already got a preview on. And I will be attending some more press briefings coming up. So uh, hopefully we'll get to a more regular schedule. We'll do more live streams. I'll get you more videos this week, recorded videos. I have uh, a few in the can already, so spec that. So a lot to like here, but we're going to wrap it up here. I want to gonna thank, I wanna thank uh, everyone who gave a super chat, especially to... Well, the only one who gave a super chat today to uh, Duck Vision, as usual, one of the best members and, of course, friend of the channel. All right. Thank you, moderators, William, everybody, One Bad Van, everybody, you know you, you, you know who you are. I want to thank you for stopping by. And while I did the unboxing, some initial benchmarks here. Very impressive. The Lenovo Legion 9i full review will be coming very soon. So until next time, everybody, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.